Today is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So, I intersected what we do. Top five college football personalities as Star Wars characters. Number five, Greg Sankey as the Emperor. <laughs> so, Smokey, since you don't know, the Emperor, uh, you know, rules everything, runs everything. Uh, he's not necessarily good. Well, he's not good at all for uh, the galaxy. Uh, and uh, pretty much gets his way until the very end of the ninth movie, apparently, uh, since they had to bring him back. Uh, but you thought after the third movie he was done, but you know nine nine, nine movies nine. Well, eventually he just popped up again. Is he still alive? Uh, who knows? Okay. Probably not anymore. Yeah, I remember when um, I don't know if it was like the twenty fifth anniversary or whatever. But remember when they re released all the Star Wars yeah. films in the theater? Yeah. And I remember I went with my buddy at the time and like did like a marathon watching them because that was a cool experience watching them actually in a big screen yeah. movie theater. But, man, no way in hell could I have imagined there would be, like, a billion movies after that related to Star Wars and TV shows and all that. So if you're a hardcore fan, man, this, these last few years have been pretty good to you. They, yeah. they really have. They're either, they're either well, really good to you or they disappoint yeah, you yeah, wildly. Yeah. Number four, Luke Fickle is Luke Skywalker. Okay. He's the hero of our story. He's from a small place. In Cincinnati, he 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 and his program uh, fought their way up to the college football playoff against all odds. You know he he's done all this stuff, and of course, when he faces the big bad, he got his hand chopped off and had to you know fall. So I do know who Darth Vader's going to be. Okay, yeah, yeah. So uh, they're the tie-in later at number one, but uh, number four, Luke Fickle is Luke Skywalker because he's fighting. And look, if he continues fighting. And changes his clothes until maybe like an all black outfit. Actually, things will work out for him. That right there, not showing the logo, kind of looks like something Luke or no Han Solo. That's more Han Solo, yeah. right? With the, the if he white just sleeves. unzipped it, yeah, yeah, done. He's Han Solo. No, listen, I did not put Han Solo on this list because I don't believe there's a person on this earth that is as cool as Han Solo. So they will never be Han Solo on this list. All right. So Luke Fickles, and that's a good dude. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Luke Skywalker. Number three, Mark Emmert is Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> he's pointless. He's stupid. He doesn't do anything right. Uh, he's only there as a plot device. You could have done the whole movie without him. And, uh, you know, no one cares for him. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I remember the, I mean, I'm not a giant Star Wars fan by any means, but I do remember that backlash when those new movies came out, and, and in particular surrounding Jar Jar Binks. I mean, yeah, they probably have been panned equally about as much, and I know we just had um, AFCA, uh, Todd Perry, yep. and we've had other people who do actually know um, Mark Emmert or have been around him, and they, you know, they interject, like, they don't really fight the, the the narrative but they interject like we you know he's taking a lot of unnecessary bullets and all that but i mean if you could just explain to me his job title i'd be happy to say okay well he did that but I, i'm at a loss still yeah. with this so. and and look wow. jar jar binks one of the problems with them is the way he spoke uh and most of the time when mark emmert speaks it's word salad much yes. like jar jar binks yeah. jar why is jar jar binks hated that's part of one of the wikipedia you know what it sounds like a great tailback Jar Jar Binks. Binks. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe I so. Guess. Maybe so. He'd be, yeah, yeah. That's be one more. ugly son of a bitch right there, and I'm not talking about the animal. <laughs> no, I'm just no, joking. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. Mark Emmert's actually a good-looking man. Okay. Yeah. Number two, Dave Aranda is Yoda. Yep. No, and no this question. is kind of obvious, but he's wise. He's calm uh, in the face of things changing. Like, for example, in Empire Strikes Back, when Luke's X-Wing sinks into the mud. Yoda just calmly raises it out up into the sky. When Dave Aranda wins the Big 12 championship and gets icy cold Gatorade dumped on him, he just continues walking and looks back to see who dumped the Gatorade on him. He, he That's all he did. One little thing of emotion when he kind of clenched his hands. That was this. Yeah. I don't think it was emotion. It was just the reaction to cold. Yeah, yeah. just physics. Yeah, it yeah. was just the physical thing. But yes, Dave Aranda is Yoda. There's no question. We've yes. even tried to figure out what is he, a, a, a Jedi, Yoda, who he might be. Yeah. Yeah. Is, so, is Yoda a Jedi? Yes, he is. Yoda's, yeah, okay. Yoda's a Jedi master. I thought so. I mean, I know a little thing here and there, but uh, yeah, Dave Aranda is Yoda. That's that's on point. Yeah. All right, and number one, Nick Saban is Darth Vader. No, it's got to be, yeah. He is Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thanks, there's, a, I forgot the website that, uh, I think it's Bama, uh, Saban Vader, VaderSaban.com. Yeah, DarthSaban.com that uh, this picture is from. Uh, but look, Nick Saban is Darth Vader. He is... Why wouldn't ESPN be doing No, here's the thing. Nick Saban is is a badass. 
Okay. Yeah. He beats everybody. He uh, imposes his will. Uh, he, everything, he gets everything he wants. And occasionally, eventually he, he loses or, or changes, you know, becomes good in the end. But also if everyone is being honest, one of the major reasons that you watch Star Wars is because of Darth Vader. Was it just like one of the reasons you watch a, college football yeah. is because of Alabama and Nick Saban. An incredible outfit, costume, and uh, the, just meat looks, scares you. Yeah. Does does Darth Vader's wife, is she sell real estate? Uh, Darth Vader does not have a... Well, he, he wasn't selling he did, real yeah, estate. Yeah, you know, it he, was uh, her looking for real estate in Austin. Oh, that yeah. was the joke. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, but no, uh, Darth Vader's wife died before he was Darth Vader. Is that what made him mean? Uh, well, one of the one of the several things, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was cool, and he had that voice, man. There's just that, it was that James voice. Earl Jones. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I never watched one of these movies. I know 1977. That would have been not my wheelhouse of a college senior, high school senior. No offense, but if you had said that, I would have guessed that, that you hadn't seen any of these movies based on your reaction to some of them. But Darth Vader is very cool, uh, cool character, one of the all-time iconic characters, and Nick Saban is one of the all-time iconic college football coaches. And I actually think that you know Darth Vader, right before his death, I believe you saw a little bit of the human side of him. I do think Nick Saban has good intentions yep. when it yeah. comes to college football. Deep down, he might be the leader of the evil empire, and he might not do everything that you like, but ultimately. Ultimately, I do think that, you know, at the heart of it, he does have the best interests of, you know, the people that matter to him uh, in mind. So I can credit him for that for sure. All right, Paul. Very good. I knew some of them. I, I, I'm, most I, movies I wouldn't. I didn't. I, didn't, I liked it because you put it in the crayons, yeah. big letters. I didn't and also throw force. out like Grand Moff Tarkin or somebody like that. I didn't want to confuse you. Han Solo sounds like a musician or something like that. Like something like, I don't know why. Well, look, he, he's, it's Harrison Ford is Han Solo. So, oh, okay. Again. All right. Emery Wynn.